Okay, that was weird. Okay, I think you guys can hear me now. And you probably couldn't hear me a moment ago, so whatever I said was completely unheard. Anyways, what I was saying, originally, was that the... I thought my headphone jack for my microphone stopped working, so I couldn't hear myself instantaneously. And being, me being able to instantaneously hear myself helps me be able to know how silly I'm being. And, you know, know how I'm, how I'm doing my voices. But, uh... I guess what I had to do was just unplug my microphone's USB and plug it back in. And I thought I did that yesterday, but if I didn't, oh well, at least now it's fixed. So, you came here to watch me play a game, specifically Soma. So, ma, I think we should get together and play a game. Oh yeah, I'm Jester Rama. what's up? Oh hey Mad Hatter, good to see ya. Uh oh. Now I can't hear the game. Well, I just had to reset my sound, so I have to reopen the game now, I guess. Give me just a moment. Uh, thank you for your patience while we wait for this thing to frickin' load. Ah, heartbeat. The most core element, haha, <laughs> of a lot of horror games. Intense moments. Or intense moments. Ah, now everything's in order. My microphone works for now. I've had this like... Oh, let me just look at my year. I think I've had this microphone for almost like five years. So it's lasted quite a while, so I'm glad we're still okay, Yeti. You're a good microphone. Thank you. Stay alive, please. I should probably say, be saying that about myself. <laughs> Simon is lost somewhere inside Theta, hunted by strange creatures. Oh yes, strange creatures. You mean what used to be human? Which is kind of common in these horror th kind of genres. There's always some form of infected people. Whether it be an alien, which doesn't quite affect the nervous system or m the brain. It just kind of kills the host. But you do have something like a necromorph from Dead Space. Where they're kind of dead and kind of infected. They're kind of a zombie. Zombies are very much a common feature in horrors if you aren't fully aware. But for those of you who also have an interest in the horror genre, you probably know that it's about 75% zombies. On a random note, today, oh come on, load, come on computer, you're better than this. There we go. So today, on my way home from work, I saw someone with a bunch of stickers on their rear window. It happened to be almost all of the main Undertale characters, and I was like, oh sweet, I didn't get a photo, but I thought it was pretty awesome. Um, oh, why do you have to worry about breathing here, Simon? You don't even have lungs. Well, the person you are part of does have lungs, but they're not exactly in use anymore. Um, my week? It was going alright. I had a lot of, had a lot of appointments I had to get to while I was at work, so hopefully that didn't do too badly for my record. Um, I'm just starting my new job. But... I do like the new job. It's a little bit. I'm starting out on just simple tasks, tasks, um, such as treating a part um, a certain way, and I can't exactly say the trade secrets because I signed a non-disclosure. Hey, English, can you help me? I signed a non-disclosure agreement, but. It's like simple loading, unloading parts, a little bit of coding, like very little, and like a single command kind of code. But 
Yeah, my work week at work went pretty well. Dang it, this is a dead end. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, don't lean like that. You're going to get me vertigo. Lean to the right. Lean to the left. Yeah, that's not the way to go home. Or wherever I'm to go. But I don't know where I'm going in particular. I'm just going somewhere. Trying to eventually save humanity, apparently, before the big bad decides, No, you won't save humanity. Maybe they deserve to... Deserve to die. I didn't want to die. But, and thankfully there was just some deep water below me. Like, seven, eight feet deep. Maybe nine. I can barely even see. Good lord, Simon, how do you see? Nope. That's a frickin', frickin', uh, tank thing. Oh yes, I still have Twilight's purple. She's still with me. She still watches over. Praise this purple. Now, if only I can find a way to get anywhere. Where will this take me? I have a feeling it'll take me nowhere. Nowhere I want to go. I want to go somewhere, but I do not know where I want to go. I think it's the direction of the lights. I need to do something. Somewhere. Hey, is that a camera? That looks like a camera. I think it's a camera. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that's a camera. Or something. Hmm. I wonder if I have to go here. I do! Oofta. That kinda hurt the legs. The dead legs. Literally the dead legs. Yeah, I'm, speaking of zombies, I'm a frickin' dead cyborg, pretty much. Hello, Doctor! Doctor 4554. Don't you creak on me like that. Oh, man. Dude, you're really killing me here. You're really making my legs kind of get those quivers that you kind of get when you feel like you're going to fall. I'm like, damn, son. Come on. Let me get the freaking ladder. Ah, oh, you freaking serious. Can I get the freaking la Ah, god damn. Can you let me get off? Jeez. Louise. Could you please just, you know, do me a favor and give me a sense of direction. I'd like some direction. Maybe over there. I don't particularly know because I'm just going in a frickin' circle. A mother frickin' circle. I'm like frickin' seriously. Like, god frickin' dang it. Ay. Uh, eh. Jump away. Yay. I did a cannonball. Woo! <laughs> the most half-assed woo ever.
Hmm, maybe I need to go into the auxiliary tunnels. I do not know. What I do know is that I'm kind of stuck in a frickin' room that's a frickin' jumping frickin' puzzle something something. God dang it. Like, can you please? Give me a moment. To find a way out of here. Okay, my god, you are like ticking me off. Frickin' game. Let's try this again. And see if I can stick the landing. Woo! Get out of here, you frickin' door. You door? I do not adore you. Maybe you adore me because I had to get rid of a door. But my boyfriend's adorable. But I wouldn't hit him with a door. That would be just plain mean. Hey, the healing butthole. Hello, healing butthole. Do I need you? Not at the moment. But I probably will. Because once I pull this switch... Something bad's gonna happen. I know it. Yeah. Bad thing coming up. Yep, bad thing coming up. Well, that would have been an intro. Hey, stop lagging me with the frickin' tube slide. I'm not sure if that direction will help, but thanks for the directions. Hey! Another dead person, technically. Achievement! Kill the dream I dreamed. didn't sound too good and this game doesn't sound too good in general except the atmosphere that's pretty nice even though you're underwater so it's not really much of an atmosphere as so much as a uh, biology or whatever I shouldn't go for something intelligent but I only kind of went halfway don't know why my brain just kind of stops and does that sometimes it's like eh, you worked so, some did some stuff you got a couple of fillings in your teeth today at the dentist eh. I'll kind of take care of your speaking right. pattern. Let's find Omicron. And all of these look like a bunch of big mines. Omicron pussy I ate. That's what I kind of thought when I heard Omicron. I can't do the voice exactly, but close enough. Let's just casually stroll along and hope we don't have some kind of shark enemy. Because that would be just plain awful. Power failure. You don't say. What is this, like some kind of way to catch fish? Or something else. I don't rightly know. Is this Omicron? Well, let's explore a little. Actually, I'm betting I don't even have access to this door. This is Omicron? Hope 
They saved me a diving suit. Let's hear your story. strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Oh, For fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Oh, get in line! Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. Hmm. I'm guessing we can't do anything with the power failure, but let's see. Yep, can't do anything with the power failure. Oh, hey. Biohazard. That means we're gonna have to find other creatures that are probably infected with other shiznit. Wouldn't that be great? Hey, hello. Good morning, Autumn. Good evening, everyone else. Hmm. On the west side of the world. West hemisphere. You know what I meant. Let's explore a little bit more. What is up this ladder? Probably some other memory thing. Oh, good. You can't do anything either because you also have a power failure. Eh. Can I do anything here? Nope, just bump my head in the ceiling. Well, bump my head in the other door. Warning, before flushing, make sure to open valves and turn on the pump. Well, I guess that means I have to do something. Oh, like this. Oh, come on. Open the valve. Open the valve! Oh, Ooh, you're really grilling my McGriddles. You're really grilling my cheese, I swear! Hello, Alco. Or Alco? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry. I apologize, but I can't read everything correctly. Hmm. This appears to be problematic. Yeah, we can't do anything here. Freaking Kathy. Oh, Alco. Okay. Um, let me know if there are any streaming troubles, because I'm still trying to make sure I have a sweet spot for streaming. So, let me know if I'm lagging a lot for any of you. Oh! There we go! I did it! Open the valves! Put on the pressure pump! And flush the toilet. Because everything in this game has to do with medical buttholes. Oh good. This means we have some form of power. That can maybe be used. Huh. Despite the damage, it's still whole. Come on! Don't do that. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Seriously. Well, that didn't sound too good. Catherine's? There you are. Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, 
A smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron. The big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's it? You got nothing? Good luck. Thanks. Well, at least she... Kath, how are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being human. It's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're making me feel really self-conscious. Come on, be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body. But you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Yeah, that's kind of why I titled the stream, What Does It Mean To Be Real? Okay. At least I... Why do you think I was made? Interruptions. Why did this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think we could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. Anyways... Catherine, are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. Just figured there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different. But the world sure does. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. And not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. Are we done yet? I do like dialogue, but are we done yet? Because <laughs> it keeps happening every time I say something that... Okay, I think we're okay for a moment. Wow, dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. Oh, great. Okay. Come on. Let me put you right here. Great, I get to be an electrician. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Bioshock at this part, but we're not at some arcade screen at the moment. We're actually still moving in world, in game. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, surely moly. Well, geez, how about y'all break? Oh, come on. Well, 
It's kind of automatically giving me a path. Yeah. Let's try this again. So I didn't even really need to look at this, it just I had to frickin' break the frickin' lights before I could get anywhere. Silver rain? Silver re rain? Is that how I say your name? <laughs> I don't know how to say your name. Let's just see what's going on over here. Oh, hey. Hoover, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. You mean tinnitus? Level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. You can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. You keep me posted. Yeah, well, uh... I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing. Or... Yeah, he died. Must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom at Theta. Great. Communicate with the dead. Always hear the last moments or something. They don't all sound like last moments, they kind of sound like mixes. Quarantined? <laughs> oh. There has to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. Thanks for the tip. Okay, there we go. Well, time to go upstairs. Are you hearing that glitched noise? Yeah, what is that? This doesn't sound too good. Did you do that, Catherine? What? Never mind. Oh, great. All these black boxes are offline, and I bet they're all dead. Um, update enables black boxes. Okay, I'm not gonna read all this because it seems like a little bit of flavor. Hmm, a little bit of code. Okay, itch my nose. Okay. Stuff needed to make the crane work again. All up to Alan now. Unnecessary security update for the paranoid lab rats. Dead people don't bite. Well, I'm guessing WoW is starting to talk to me. I think I solved it. Solved what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lured into the back of a van? What are you talking about? Hmm. They gave me the code. 2828. Hmm. Have a great weekend there, Mad Hatter. Thanks for coming. See you later. I still want to explore the upstairs real quick. Where'd you go? Just doing some exploring. Ha <laughs> ha! He knows what I'm doing. Relayed message from Jay Strohmeyer. Adam Galaski is ordered to come to Theta as soon as possible. Urgent. 
Well, I don't think Adam made it. I'm sorry. Well, nothing back here. Yeah. I think Simon and I would be pretty good buds. Sounds like a pretty chill dude. And a very, dare I say, philosophical man. Well, I'm not saying that that philosophical, but he's existential right now. So, it's kind of fun. Okay, glitched out a little bit. That was kind of weird. 28, 28. Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. Yeah, I think something is trying to say hello. Thanks, Kathy. You are a huge help. Now let me check those lockers. Yeah, nothing in here. Um. Yeah, I'm sure there's a monster in the closet. Reverse. Um, yeah, that didn't work. Oh, derp a derp. And now we continue our underwater consciousness. So now we're gonna adventure into Omicron because, you know, nothing bad could be in there. No! I mean, seriously, there's nothing bad in there. Yeah, there probably is. Oh, really? Hello? 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 Buddy? Hmm. You're a little bit glitchy. But just a little bit. Not enough to be a bad guy, apparently. gonna find here got a gantry we got a couple of entrances got an ACR a climber so that means I'll transition to another place oh it's tons of barnacles okay on my malfunction use alternate entrance yeah Okay. Alternate entrance, right. Can I jump around here? Yeah, I have to go through this here. Be the right way. Oh, don't do that. What was that? Uh, 
I totally missed what that was. What was that? Was it supposed to be spooky? Because now I'm annoyed. What am I glitching out about? Give me the goddamn ladder, dang it! Yay! Now we get to go through this way. Right? Okay. Barnacles frickin' everywhere. I swear to God, why? There's so many frickin' barnacles. Sorry, I had to hydrate. Funny, since I'm in a game about being underwater. Let's find that suit and get out. Fantastic. Is this the suit I need? That would be quick. Hey, wow, how you doing? I heard you got a lot of players recently. Or not, they're kind of dead. Yeah, kind of dead. That's kind of the suit I have. Why, their head's gone. Yay! Creepy. Oh, wait a sec. Give me a moment. I need to check out these lockers. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing but clothes. Oh, let's get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. Hmm, where do you lead me? I don't know. Do you lead me somewhere else? Oh. Great. Look at all of this. Wow. I like wow. Yeah, give me a moment. Why are you panting? You don't have lungs. Oh great, something else is here with me. Is there something there? Well, something's in here with me. I look forward to where this leads us. Because, you know, there's never a bad story about any computers. Nah. Never. Eh. I guess we have to go the other way. Yep, gotta go the other way. Well, yeah, he te technically does have lungs from a dead lady. I forgot her name, unfortunately, because she wasn't repeated often. And I'm really horrible with names. It takes me like five times to remember. But yeah, he's just some dead body with cybernetics. Oh, is there someone here? Wow. Are you alive? Well, nothing I can do there, but now I guess we go through the maze. What are you? Well, that was interesting.
Global lockdown active. Override at dive room console. Nice atmospheric music. Yeah, I'm a Saibi. I'm a freaking Saibi rhythm. A freaking Saibi. Ooh, blood trail. Oh, something in here? Let us see. I am okay. I am fantastic. What do I do in here? Well, it looks like something you'd load a missile into. How human. Good thing I'm not a human. No, no, I'm not human at all. But why the lady? Why the frickin' lady? Why the lady? Long hallway, let's get across it. And what do we get? Well, 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 I guess I'm stuck. Hayamatsu Power Suit's proper usage. For the safety of you and your colleagues. 1. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. 2. Check the HPS for any visual damage. 3. Starting with the legs, fix the parts in onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and the torso. 4. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit it seal itself. The suit seal itself. 5. The suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. 6. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock ex- uh, Flex the shock ex- uh, Shock ex- Shock- Absorbers and try it again. Try again. Wow. If it still won't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. Note. The HPSs are very healthy. And the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive in too deep. Don't die with malfunctioning equipment. Oh, how nice. I see you, Kathy. Uh, let's see if I can read the names. Sarah. I think I'm Sarah. Power suits tested and ready. Jasper confirms. Omicron scans are in the arc. Catherine confirms. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Vashkin confirms. Climber calibrated for weight. Alan confirms. Crane operator ready. Alan confirms. Omicron standing by for the pickup in two days. Ames confirms. I don't know, that's what I always make a note of. I can apparently just say things fine without a voice, an accent, or character, but once I try and speak normally or read normally, I just totally f slip over everything. I don't know, it's like I'm kind of meant to be a changeling or some kind of voice actor, you know? You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. 
There's got to be something else that can take us down there. The Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. He was else. alive. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Hey! Airlock pressurization hazard. Do not open while pressurized. Always check seals and gauges before use. Reminder, check your air supply and systems. Hmm, let's activate the terminal. Oh good, they move. No, I can't access that one apparently. Uh, that's not a power button. What is this? What is this? What are you waiting for? Find a power suit and let's get on with it. I'm this. walking on it, Kathy. Chill your biscuits. Uh, excuse me. Natural gas. Oh, God. Holy sh! I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. You just like the body we found in the annex. Frickin' She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Well, that was just great. You know, just great. That was frickin' great. Yeah. Great. Ugh. No. I'm not see power suit. I rush your power suit guaranteed to withstand temperature spanning but from 50 C to negative 75 C while keeping a steady 40 C default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal 1 ATM up to a depth of 5,000 meters. Man, that is a lot. Five kilometers. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. Usage. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that locks the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as a default, the suit will accept anyone. Controller. The controller is an, the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest exp exp experience. It glitched out a second there. This game's getting to me, I swear. Now it's making me glitch out. Great. Does that mean I'm a Cybe? HPS tracking. Hmm. Something interesting is ahead. HPS activation. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, it's D. <coughs> Air found with suit. Exactly great A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly Morgan. lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip? 
Structure gel and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Great. Just great. Hey, now I get to go somewhere. But let me check the lockers first. Or not. Maybe. One of you, please. Okay, you're all kind of a locked case. Got it. Yeah, get a little pipe work for you. Don't forget, we need a cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Thank you for coming, Autumn. I hope you're still here. I don't know if you're still here. <laughs> hey there, Skippy, you cutie. What you doing, cutie? Do I go this way? Nope. Nope. Of course you're a cutie. So is Timmy. Yeah. Nothing here. Kerosene. Yeah, and arson. Who wants to commit arson? Oops. Sorry, I had to go boxing. Yeah, there's nothing in store. Just as a totally useful room. No, it's not freaking useful unless I'm trying to run from something. Oh, it's the same hallway I was in before. Got it. Getting a bit of a Dead Space vibe. Back when Dead Space was actually kind of spooky. Hmm. Yep, I'm going to be streaming for a total of three hours. So I started at around 5, so that'll mean around 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will cut off the stream and take whatever break I need to, and maybe I might do some Overwatch later on stream. I'm not sure. But we'll see. You know, because maybe I can play with some viewers. All depends on how I'm feeling. I don't want to guarantee guaranteeing right away, but I do want to give you an idea of what I want to do. But I need to set up for online gaming acts first before I do some team stuff that might be a bit more common. Because I'm doing okay with one other person, because I can easily just put in the name real quick, but I'm trying to make sure I have an, everything in order for going for multiple people. Hmm. Ruffy, Jacob Halperin. An unusually sedated orange Ruffy found hovering in outside Omicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stif excuse me, stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study of the thing, study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. Kept swimming for a few minutes, so I returned it to the aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Great. Shelley, dead in arrival. Claudia Eames. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaged in the Lumar probe at about 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter long rudder fish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. Oh, and great, there's gonna be some fish. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it is getting worse. Something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Orvari can't shut up about. Nice. Johan Ross, dead on arrival. Claudia Eames. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross. Oh, what? I said John Ross, didn't I? Johan Ross. Um, the AI psychologist working at Tau. 
I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the Ark team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without a good reason. Oh, I wish you the best in your house situation and getting to work. <laughs> there, Skippy. Oh, what the... Yay! Something spooky. Did I just go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. Yay! Running loudly. Yeah, there's nothing over here, I don't think. Just the wow. The freaking world of Warcraft. Okie dokie. Oh, wait a second. Let's override. Air moving lockdown. Stand by for diagnosis. Diagnosis. Launching rerouting utility. Destroy the WoW. Okay. I guess this is going to be a moral dilemma of what's alive. Oh, jeez. Wah. We suffer. Oh god. Oh yeah, yeah, man, you're kinda getting a little bit repetitive there. What? I didn't read that? Dang it. Yay, puzzles. Yeah. Let's just go this way. This way. Moving lockdown, take the gel. I'm reading a little bit of what's going on in the chat. Okay. Oh my goodness, excuse you. My tummy's not that big. Rude. Uh, I think Ross is trying to tell me something. 
Oh, great. Look at all these little keys. Oh, those are chips. And a water bottle. I'm not going to open that quite yet. Hey, a healing butthole. I don't need a healing butthole right now. If you were ever kind of feeling a little bit weird about butts, specifically the holes, this is a great game to get used to buttholes, apparently. I'm so sorry to the developer for saying that, but what else do I call it? The way it looks, looks kind of like a something-something. Hey, wow-infected fish. Or dead fish. You got cyborg fish. Nice. Um, okay, what do we have here? Well, obviously something. But nothing particularly important at the moment. Um... Jeez, like, what do I freaking do in here? The first aid anus. Yeah, that's practically what it is. Can I take this off? No. And some of you might be thinking something else, but... Mm-mm. Not here, not in the stream. We're just here... to have some fun. Ooh, that looks gross. Why does it look so gross? Hmm. Yee. It looks kind of gunky. Like really freaking gunky. Like it's not delicious gunky. It's like an ew gunky. Well, give me a second. I want to check something else. Is this how I got up here? I don't quite recall. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, just scan me in. I have a multi pass. Another decap. Got it. What the? Something's alive. But what? Spooky. The structure gel has been discharged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. Function. Lisa Cameron. Uh, yeah, March 25th, 2103. It seems like it's... Okay, destroy the WoW, got it. it. Seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more com complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Artificial intelligence, I think is what it said. Pathology. Jacob Halperin. Applied gel to a dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. 
It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 50 minutes, uh, the reanimated re mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. Take the gel, got it. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. Well, that's probably how it died. Progress. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time it was done with and calibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before... You have to stop it. Got it. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. Got it. Excuse me. Chemical analysis. Paula Lansky. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gel. Get the virus. Okay. It's still the same cross-linked gel with aligned graphene in a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WOW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WOW simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of. Study results. Claudia Eames. Okay, I know you're suffering. I'm sorry. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the WOW via structure gel. Am I getting manipulated by the WOW? Because I sure am. I sure think I am. Anyways. Manipulated by the WOW via structure gel. They have in some manner have been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by a cance by a cancerous growth. Yeah, that kind of doesn't make English sense. That affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't say for sure, excuse me, sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. I want to see what that other message said since I couldn't see it for two times. So pardon me a moment. That wasn't what I was looking for. Ye. Now let me just wait one more moment. Hopefully it shows up. Come on. I'm waiting patiently. But you're really killing me. I mean, jeez. I'm already dead. What else could you want? I could just say... Eh. I'm gonna guess it's said artificial intelligence because I'm not gonna wait anymore and waste any more stream time for you guys. What's in here? Everything seems to be missing its head. Huh. Oh, nice. Dead cyborg rat. Uh, let's see what this does. I'm kind of curious. Oh, great. So now we get to see the gel in action. The gel is the wow. Got it. That's it. No, that's not it. Oh, this is going to be nice and freaky. Right, there we go. Yay. 
Yay, dribbling. Oh. So those people that I saw before... It came back to life. Or something like it. Yeah, so those people that I kind of put out of their misery, they were probably already dead, or going to be dead, or getting killed by the WoW. So that's great. Yay for zomb cyber zomb cyber zombification. Zombification. Tons of zombification when it comes to science. Status. Temperature negative twenty. Yeah, gel. Uncalibrated. Control chip malfunction. Service required. Oh great, I get to play engineer again. Where do I find that random chip that I just got? Hey. That looks great. Pretty sure that rat isn't alive anymore. Or mouse, whichever. Hmm, something something theta. Hmm, test for formula, structure gel. Eh, sorry, just my headset. Little nanotechnology. Let me take this industrial earring of mine out since it's kind of bugging me. Getting pressed against my face. And that ain't comfy. Yeah. There we go. So this gel likes to keep things alive. What was that? Structure gel as connector and interface between NG PAL has three and organic tissue. Never seen anything at that speed. I know you're blinking, but you're not giving me anything. Why ain't you giving me anything? Hmm. Let's see. I guess I need to have the laser, the injector, so to speak. Well, here goes nothing. Let's get this going. So I have to kill the WoW while you was in the WoW. Wow. Isn't that a strategy? Well, that doesn't look too glowy. You... 
Sorry, bud. Well, you can't do anything there. Let's try this again. Got the gel. I'm sorry, I have no idea what you are, and I'm sorry you're alive. Got the gel. You jelly. Okay, I'll adjust my skull here and got it. Hello again. Yay. Is that the wow or is that humanity? Because I don't rightly know. Not yet. Need to find my way around first. Okay, I'm where I need to be, I think. Alrighty. How is he carrying is he gonna be carrying multiple things? How is he gonna be carrying multiple things? Oh my god, that means I'm actually I'm controlling a dead body. I mean, in a different way than I thought before. I mean, yeah, they're dead, but the dead body is actually alive. Since it's being influenced by the WoW. We need to get you a new Cortex chip, just like the ones you find inside robots, so we can store your brain. Great, I need to find an unused robot. Now I have to find some sort of robot. Nope, that's not it. Let's just go up here. South Hall. Is there anything alive or dead? Dead or alive? Well, a little bit blocked. Now before I go that way... Oh dear. This doesn't look too good. What are your last words? All without their heads. All to be bodies used for the new human. The new AI human. The new human AI. <laughs> yeah, well, these people lost their heads, Skippy. And how... How did flies get down here? 
How the fuck did flies get down here? That doesn't make any sense. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Goodness gracious. Making me jump. Power room. Let's go to the power room. Right. Oh, great event. Oh. Your part computer interface. That's great. Wait a second. Shit. There's something here. What's here? Oh, great. Okay. Yay. Someone... Someone who's not dead and someone who's not alive. Okay, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, 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 gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, run, run. run. Okay. Gotta run. Oh, damn. Damn, I'm knocked out. Yeah, you stay there. Yay, got power chip. So someone's been wowed. In one way or another. Oh my goodness. Anything in here? Good. Oh, another decap. All what we need is a visceral cleanup detail. I can't open any of these cabinets, but I can lift the pot. This pot is unclean! 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 The knot. <laughs> Any furry worth their weight in feathers 
would know how to think of that phrase. That title. I guess I need to heal. Healing butthole away! Oh no. Um, great. Is there something wandering around now? Oh, come on, I missed it. Okay, now I need a Cortex chip. Preferably something that has a head. Okay, I came from that way. I came from down this way. Okay. I'm kind of getting the direction. Oh. Wait a second. The guy that was here. The thing that might have been him. Well, that's nice. Nope, that ain't it. Well, this game is making me explore everywhere. Alright, scan me in. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> I think we're good. Good. Yep. <laughs> professional. Grade A. Most professional professional to ever professionally profession. In a professional way, I would profess. Yeah, that wasn't the right way. That was the wrong way. Don't you love going the wrong way? It's fun going the wrong way. Because that means adventure. Okay. Hydroponics. Laboratory. Um. East stairwell. Okay, here we go. Robot repair bay. Well, that means maybe we can find a robot. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, here's where I messed up. We're moving lockdown. Yay, radioactivity. Not yet. Well, this is going to be another little puzzle. Nope, nothing in the trash, surprisingly. Because I know nerds usually have a lot of trash. Oh my god. Your park computer. Yay, another healing butthole. Into the abyss, take it into the... Don't do that to me. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. H is sick. Alpha needs medicine. Find Tau and... Fo oh, forward Tau, forward Alpha. 
taking the gel to Alpha. The heart of Alpha. Question mark. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. Am I not Fine, around okay. for a few days, okay? Rally Herbert leaving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay, then. Stay safe. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't yeah. forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tao, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tao. Great. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Nice. The healing butt. All glory to the healing butt. The glorious healing butt that heals you by sticking your fist into its butt. Hole. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Cortex chip diagnostics. Great, someone else has to die, I bet. Let's see. Excuse me. Hmm. Eject cortex chip. Ew. I'm trying to get this. Trying to understand what it means. Anything I can do with this box? Nope. I see. Oh, God. It's screaming. Great. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, this person's gonna be a little bit alive. Oh, good, you're still there. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. But hey, I think we got what we need. For the most part. Oh, great. I saved. Does that mean I'm going to get a, something to encounter? Who knows? Okay, I'm kind of lost. And... Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yay, static. Quietly. Let's go quietly. Poor, poor soul. It's kind of alive, it's kind of dead. Oh, glow through the curtain. Nice touch. Nice touch. Well, I'm dead. Shut the door. Lock it up. What happened? Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? Oh boy. Piss off another one of Wow's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. How am I carrying all this stuff? Ugh. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. It's, it's gonna be alive. Hey, it's like bend all over again. That suit's gonna come alive and it's gonna try and do something. Let's try this again. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, son. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Yay. Time to transfer bodies. Well, let's see what this does. Uh, power to something or not Why is the power I need the power We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current cortex chip run it through the amplifier feed it into the new chip And then make sure it's synced You lost me halfway there. 
You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Getting there. There we go. Time to see if we get ourselves a new body. It's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. Huh. Hmm. Suit upgrade. it's still talking it's the same like before Catherine why was he still talking that's how it works you know that what do you mean you know it's not magic you were copied the sleeping Simon in the seat was copied and now you are here just like Simon lived on in Toronto god damn you Kath two Simons there can't be two Simons what did you think would happen that you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body like a brain transplant I'm sorry it wouldn't work that way you realize how messed up this is please I didn't mean to upset how did you expect me to react to this shit Stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Great. Do I kill myself or not? Green. I'm a copy of a copy with a dead body. Well, if that doesn't screw with your brain and friggin' rolls, I don't know what does. Hmm. Hey. There's the cortex. Hmm. I need some kind of backup, I guess. I'll leave him alive for now. Spinner, come back to bite me. Gives some new meaning to self preservation. Um, oh, there we go. Into the abyss we go. A new you is the achievement I just got.
Hey, environmental change. Excuse me. I'm gonna see what's down this pathway. Oh god, loud pinging noise. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, Hawk Pelt, what's up? Well, hold on. Let me look at something. Need to see that other thing. Need to see what the other thing is. So, happy summer break there, Hawk Pelt. Here's to adventures and staying inside for 30% of those days because some days are too hot and you need AC. But that just, oh. Okay. I guess this was kind of a waste going this way. So let's go the other way. But yes, adventure. Summer break adventure. Nothing like a good adventure, especially in water. Yeah. Now, time to see if we survive this passage, so to speak. Oh, this is going to be my escape. Great. It's a roller coaster. Oh, that's nice. Rich and light and oxygen. Good luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. It's a redundant copy. I'll never experience my journey, the full journey. No permanent sights. He wouldn't understand. How could he? I couldn't do it. And you knew it. You were right in trying to hide it from me. Only wish you'd done a better job. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind? Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still Perpetual feel darkness. Did, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. 
I'm not religious, but I can see why people would Hey, be. Blue Jay. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are? Or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the yard, would it be any different? still be alone no friends no family you could make new friends i'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler if not you still have oh nice i wanted to see pictures of the abyss catherine Kath? hello catherine what happened Oh, hey, glowy jellyfish. Or not. Are those fish? Okay. Yay, time to play engineer again. Just press a button and hope it works. for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry. It should hold. Comfort. Should. It will hold. Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted more than anything. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but uh -oh. it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> that didn't look too good. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. Um, we're here. The abyss. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. You did it. You did it. I will make preparations. Okay. What does that mean for me? That can't be the end. Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. You spoke to me. Looks like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. I'm glad it didn't. Yeah, me too. It's psychic in some way. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's, it's about an acre of the Abyssal Plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the other you has been here. 
following your old footsteps, Kat. When I had footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere, technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Alright, let's head for town and find that arm. Yeah. It's not exactly telekinesis or telepathy. It's telecommunicative. That looks like I can kill a bunch of garbled gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. And I didn't say the offensive term to refer to Asians. Just saying gobbledygook in a different way. But yay Wi-Fi. It's like a land party down here. You can barely see anything. Jeez, it really kind of makes things a bit harder. Uh, symbol collection, physical pickups. Um, check. Tau evacuation. Failed. Bring in the Arctify. Okay, so, oh, Catherine was here. So, Alan and Julia. Yeah. So, Catherine was down here. And the WoW has been down here. Glowing jellyfish. How nice. Thunder? What? Tao? Come in, Tao. Please answer, Tao. Nothing. It's dead. Let's move out. We'll try the next one. Well, I can't do anything here. On to the next spot. Master switch. Let's pull it. Anything of interest in here? Loud ripples in water. They sound like earthquakes. Oh yeah, thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, 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 take it all. Yeah, magnifico. Oh, that thunder is faulting. Warning, faulting activity, strong torrents expected. Oh great. So we're slowly hearing an earthquake before it happens. We're at the center of an earthquake. That sounds great. That sounds like it's totally a safe place to... Jesus, did you see that? Stick to the lamp lights. They won't go near them. I can't, Valglasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die... I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Ross, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's it sounds like... There. The light is over there! Final push, Ross. Almost there, we just... <laughs> Great, and I have to worry about a giant fish or something. Okay, blue leads to Tau, red leads to the climber. Alright.
What's gonna try and get me in this underwater abyss? What can get me in the abyss? That is the mystery. We hardly even know what is underneath our own water. And yet we want to go out into space! What the? Okay. Speaking of space, I need some. Oh, God's sake. Oh, hey, wow. Inventory. So, yes. Things like that, we do not even know if they exist below. They could. And at this rate... I'm sure there's a lot of things that could be kind of freaky when you combine with the WoW. Powdered eggs, really? Okay, observation one, number 134. Lure, dried squid. Set up 60 pieces of anima. In quad HR, low lumina. Results, frilled shark. Description, rear shark approached in luminous lure. Approach the luminous lure, circled around to eat the dried squid. Unlikely that it frequents this depth. An anomaly. Oh, look. Wow influenced squid. Lure, Atlantic Blue Marlin. 40 pieces of anima RAL. Cameras, quad HDR, ML lumina. Target, giant squid. Description, mantle of the size of a man, 170 to 200 centimeters. Estimated length of the whole thing, 10 to 12 meters. Frantic attack tore the marlin apart. As soon as we turned on the lights, it quickly flooded the area. Clear another specimen affected by the leaking structure gel. Partially covered in scales and newly formed bone structure protruding through the mantle. Oh. A mutated angler, it would seem. Observation number 188. 50 pieces of anema, 25 pieces of anema, LEL and REL. Uh, results unknown. Target is unknown. The creatures disfigured by the gel are manic and will attack anything. Still hard to determine how WoW has affected their behavior beyond their apparent aggression and affinity with light. The creatures seem to hunt something particular, something not present in this ecosystem. Yeah, the WoW is totally out of control. I think we know this right, now, right about now. Oh, that's nice. It's reversed. I can't go any farther without worrying about. Oh, crap. Yay. This is indeed my first playthrough, Emperor Mendez. Oh, sorry, Imperador Mendez. Imperador. Hey. This game's giving me a stiff arm. Then again, I can partially blame work for that. Okie dokie, I'm gonna proceed now. Seriously. Sounds like you had fun with the fish. Um. I need to do something to proceed. Oh, come on. It's a freaking door. Why won't you let me open the door? That's rude. Oh, great. Freaking broke it. No results. Why does it have to be the case? 
Why does there have to be no results? Need the doors. What used to be here? That's a glow stick. What am I gonna do with a glow stick? Eh. Hey. Come on, I can jump higher than this. Somehow, these currents manage to get in. Well, the handle's freaking gone for good. So that's fantastic. Yay. Yay for being stuck. Oh yes, I am most certainly adored by so many adore. I still feel like Kathy's gonna screw me over. Well, where do I go? Hey! Ooh! It's a sign, kinda. So, follow the path of the blue light. The path of the Jedi. Not the red, you know, which is the Sith. Pray for torrents. Is that a dead fish? Oh, great. What is that? What? What the butt is that? Oh, it's right behind me. Let me in, let me in. Yay. Getting hunted by a fish. Getting fished by a fish. Can I open this door? No. Hey. It's right behind me. Isn't it? Yay for strong currents. There's gonna be the thing coming. I just know it. Gonna try and get me. Yeah, it doesn't sound too good. Yeah, almost made it. Made it. Nailed it. Two points. Hello, Ule. Well, when it comes to puns, I, they are quite a pundit, you see. Shall I append your argument with a few more puns of fun?
What does this switch do? There's something here. Nothing there. So there's something in storage that I can't quite reach. The healing butt. All glory to the healing butt. And the spurple. Oh, hey, data buffer. No. Everybody's dead. This is Tau. Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Theta calling. I got a team with me and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward and the wildlife you got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. The instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tom, yeah. keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. Yeah, I don't think they made it. Something tells me they didn't make it. Oh, great. I'm gonna get a bot to work with to hopefully keep me alive. I'll have to keep up with this thing. Unable to retrieve data. Control. Okay, no observatory. No ACR landing. Okay, apparently the only thing we really can do is Tau, so I'm sure we're going to lose this robot at some point. Oh, I'm going to survive great. How long until this robot gets taken out by a fish? Or by the earth itself? Yep. Hold on, I'm trying to keep up. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I called it! I freaking called it! Apparently, didn't take that long for the freaking robot to get taken by a freaking fish. Yeah, the poor little buddy. Oh great, something else in here? Spiders? Underwater spiders? Okay. They really wanted to play with phobias, didn't they? Yee. Yeah. Oh great, it's a maze. Yeah. I'm not in I'm not freaked out by spiders, but even this feels a little bit weird. Yeah. I'm kinda going in circles. Okay, I know where I'm at. Kinda.
So the spiders aren't affected for whatever reason. Well, I'm guessing these glow sticks are the right way. Um. Oh, God! Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. That's an angler. That's an angler. A really creepy angler. Yeah, if you had a fear of deep sea creatures, this is gonna kind of fit that bill. Did I lose it? Am I able to go? Yay. Yay. Yay, I feel like something's behind me. Get to the lights. Get to the barely standing lights. Thank you, I think. I don't like that sound. That doesn't sound too good. I don't like it. A, a loud crashing noise, that's no good. I don't like big crashing noises. That sounds very bad. Very, 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 very bad. I do not like very, very, very bad situations because they are very, 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 very bad. Okay. I think we're doing fine. Ish. You know, the path back is going to be a bitch. Oh, thanks, wow. Um... Hello? Is this Tau? Swipe the Omni tool. Release the water and the Kraken. Well, isn't that angle joke quite acute? What are you talking about? Eh. Ah. Less skippiness. Yay for loading the next section. Clever use of a loading room. It's not like it's Metroid that has done to be inside. Let's find the ark. What's in here? Oh, great. A suit is alive. We have to look forward to someone else who's alive and dead. But alive and dead. But dead and alive. HPS 3, active, Tau. Access log. Uh, yeah, da, 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 Yoshida. Oh. Hello, wow, 
I see you. Well, I guess Yoshida's probably alive in some way. Yay for being down at Tau. So, another encounter to look forward to. Ah, healing butt. Another frickin' healing butt. That doesn't sound too good at all. Large alarms aren't a good thing. This robot's dead. Oh, great. So we get to mess up. WTF? What the fudge better was that? Well, it seems it's behind door number two. Uh, door number three. Um, <laughs> door number four. Door number five. While you're doing that, let me check something. Okay, there we go. What's behind door number five? Holy crap! Can't escape there. Oh, crap. Welcome to Tau. What's left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. We haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit, they all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate... No, 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 no. When it's done, we can all... Protect me, Terminal. Protect me. Okay. Good enough. Oh, great. I have no idea which way to go. Well, something bled. A lot of stuff bled, apparently. Okay. Trying to explore all the places before I get caught again. Hello, healing butt. Okay, I'm getting a little confused. Let's see what's over here. A 
Or anything of interest? Hey! Somewhere to go. Oh great, the fish. Let me go back to the control room real quick. Laboratory? No. Control room? Yes. Back at power offline. Jin Yoshida. Okay. Anyone there? Not in the mood to talk to robots. No offense. Oh great, someone is alive. Well, when it comes to puns like that, when it comes to a ladder, are you talking about the former or the latter? Nothing I can do here. Now, well, time to... Take that ladder. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Oh, well, I guess this used to be somewhere to go, but now I have to go one way. Well, hopefully I don't have to run into Yoshida for a little while. Living quarters. Who's alive and who's dead? Hello, healing butt. I don't need you, but you are quite abundant. Hello again. Wow. Like, wow. Oh, Johan. Critical system failure. Jeez, man, to make me frickin' jump. I'm trying to work on it. Yay for the wow, taking dead bodies and making them alive again. They don't seem to be breathing. Only a matter of time until WoW gets them. Can't we do anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. <sighs> Did not expect it to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark. No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. Well, I'll be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wow to take it, swallow it whole. Uh, I'm sorry, Catherine. 
It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. All the steam sails are the most dangerous thing. They're the most horrific thing to ever attack. Your wallet! And your PayPal. And your credit cards. I guess that's his son. What the fuck did we do? Hey, try not to think about it. My whole life, I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. I should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know? You got to. <laughs> Hello, Undertale Overlord. Hmm. Someone that knew Kathy. Hello. Can I take a call? Call for horror hotline. We got zombies, we got killers, we got ghosts, we got action. Oh, there's gotta be something. Oh. Let's go to dispatch. There still might be something. Let me see if there's something. Whoops. Omicron, Erber, Fi, Yoshida. There you are. What is this? Erber. Anyone online? Lisbon. Okay. Oh, I need a... Uh... Okay. Exit to Phi, space gun. Okay. Phi status. Access tunnels, no feedback. Unstable. That doesn't look good. Phi, launch site okay, everything's okay, site play unoperational. Omega space gun. I'm guessing that's how I'm gonna be able to get out. In some way. Oh, I don't need to dive yet. Do I hear music? You. You're different. Catherine? Can I help you with anything? Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. They're hey, all up Salon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta. Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos 2. And, uh, 
I'm the only living person you've met. <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed at? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. To tell you the truth, I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. <laughs> Good one. Endangered if species. I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. I still can't believe I'm the last one. That's crazy. Are you serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> <coughs> I don't want to live like this. Hey, Kevorkian complex. Good to get this over with. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept second best, you know? None of this feels right. Simon, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Be careful. Okay, let me get my eye cleared up real quick because I have some gunk in it. Sorry. There we go. Oh, good night, Skippy. Much love. <coughs> love you, Skippy. Crazy thing this was. Life. At least I won't have to turn 30. Hooray. Oh god. She looks like this before 30. Wish I could have died at home with my friends. You ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. Well, at least when you get out of the city. Nanok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. You know what? I prefer it this way. I like to pay thoughts. Liked my colleagues, Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Catherine. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. So 
Simon, are you still there? I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there. To the stars. The black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. Intercom. Door locks. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, somehow I managed to carry this thing. Okay, so it actually kind of made sense finally. Well, I guess that's one way to call it. Well, I'm sure I'll be able to come back and be okay. Also, looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of overtime. In a way of speaking. This place looks surprisingly immaculate and alive. Whoops. Hmm. Let's see what's on the tablet. Journal. 913-2103. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Glasser, Kovsky, Kotzi, and I survived. Eau Claire is in the firmary, but it doesn't look good. Uh, 1119, Kotzi made a run for it to check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think we just she just wanted the chance to die without carrying the responsibility to have taken it herself. Hmm. People from the plateau showed up plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us that they wanted to use the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in this afterlife. 26. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Apparently, they postponed the ARC launch. They were all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from. Except for one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure this ARC business out, but they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. I finally get to warn Dahl and Serang about the critical situation at Site Alpha. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, 
The WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going. But it's been simplifying the pattern. Redefining its protocol. Hmm. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. Hmm. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Well, wonder if that was our buddy Johan Ross. Hello, healing butt. So what spooky, spooky features are down here? Oh hey, does that mean another suit got out? Terminal locked. Well, there's something out there. This guy can walk surprisingly fast for carrying a heavy thing that's the rest of humanity. Oh, crap. Well, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, come on. Config. User. Catherine Chun. Okay. Nice. Configuration failure. Got it. So, let's get the arc launched because we have to explore this little... Last area. Sequence so halted and able to equalize pressure. Great. So what can I really do, because, you know, so much is happening right here and now. So hold on, humanity, I got this covered. Your life, so to speak, is safe in my hands. But I can't get anywhere. It's a little puzzle in a little room. What am I missing? Yeah. I feel like, oh, hey, here we go. 
There we go. I'm missing something. Uh, where am I missing a valve? There we go. Pressure knockout. Isn't it great? It's great to be a Cybe, isn't it, Rhythm? Okay, the Ark is still there. Is this the end? Or not? Because there's got to be some kind of final something. It, this can't be the ending. Not yet. Let me just kind of go on ahead and see what there is. Okay, now we're going. Now we're getting some speed. So where's the last... Where's the last thing I have to run from? Because there's always got to be something. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone should really fire Johan Ross. Tell him there's no reason to walk these tunnels no more. There's a reason. This section is gonna collapse. You should try spending some time in the abyss, sweetheart. You know when shit's for real. Catherine, move up. Come with me. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, wait for me. Careful with the Ark. Take it easy, it's not going to... Oh, for a moment I thought it was going to collapse. Why do you have to invoke Murphy? Why would you invoke Murphy? So I gotta save humanity by destroying the WoW and launching humanity AI into space. Oh no. We're back outside, aren't we? Yeah, we're back outside. Gee, I hope nothing can get me. They would be bad if something were to happen to me. Hmm. There's got to be something I'm not seeing. Hold on. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe this way. This way seems different. Alpha. 
Uh, I couldn't really understand what you said, but okay. I mean, I'll be doing fine. I'm just, you know, in a very interesting place as a Saibi. The Saibi Invasion. What existence exists down here, I wonder? Hard hat. Computers with an infection, dare I say a virus. Yeah. What is in there? I wonder. I wonder. Get out of the way, you dang tote thing. Slide the mouse up. Sliding up. Up and away. Is there something in here? I sure hope there's nothing in here that can attack me. Because that would be very bad. And when something is very bad, that means it's not good. Just tell me what you want. Convenient. That's nice and fun. I get to be a stinking viper. Oh, yeah. So, how do I sting? That. Oh. Wow. Corpservation Laboratory. Oh, alright. Let's kill the WoW and run down this long hallway with nothing but Murphy to guide us in a good old time. Okay. Please, I did what you wanted. Dead good, Simon. But you can't leave. The only way to make sure the wild stays dead is to destroy the only one who's immune to the new pattern. Don't worry, I'll make it quick. Oh god!
So, let's go to the exit stage right! Let's run through the tunnel. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Yeah, stay away, you butt. Okay, time to run. Yay, running. Oh. Great. Well, that hurt. Let's just scoot away. Yeah, so somehow we've survived a fish attack. That's fun. Let's try to survive this time. Yeah. Thanks for prowling. I always love the nice prowling fish. A fish that decides to eat you because it thinks you're the worm. Isn't that fancy? Yeah, making a run for it. Oh God, this isn't too good. Oh no, no you don't. Holy moly, holy moly. Freaking leech thing. You're supposed to stay away from the light, you aggressive butt munch. I can still see you. See you in the darkness, just barely. Okay. Going my way. Going over. Does that mean I can run yet? I can't see where he is. Oh, there he is. got to wait for him to go this way before I can proceed. Screw it, I'm running. Holy crap! That was close. I don't think he likes me. Okie dokie. 
Can you just go the other way? Hmm. Where is it? Where is he? Are you there, buddy boy? A little bit. You went through the rock. Okay, while he's facing away, make the run for it. Uh, come on. Holy crap! Get, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Ah, now I'm at Phi. And the only reason I remember that that, that symbol is for Phi is because of the Phi Paw that the furries came up with as a symbol to recognize other furries. You'll see it's told at furry conventions as a sticker. It has like a little bit of a paw print around it. It's the same little uh, Phi symbol right there, but just a little bit of paw over it. Some of you furries already know that. Draining the airlock. Good. Well, now you know. It's not 100% commonplace, but it's kind of been spread around pretty often. Your expressway to the stars. This has to be Phi, right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. Well, you can only hope. Well, dive room is off limits. So is that. Service area? Yeah, I'm sure we'll have to go that way later. What was it? Control room. Right. And power off. Oh no, I guess not. Well, time to plug Kathy in. Chris, what the hell happened to your arm? It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. I'll have hey. both my arms in the arc, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. I need a healing bud. Alright. Phi is up and running. Service area. Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark eh. back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. Well, you kind of need to play the game a bit more, but. The body is both alive and dead. It doesn't exactly need a living heart to be functional, apparently. This feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. Storage. Nice. More structure gel. Restroom. 
Hey, healing you know, butt. I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> well, I'm relatively okay. What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. It helps me focus. That's... I, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. You finally make a comment about the healing, bud. Despite the fact it's the wow, it's crazy I'm... crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comment, I guess it was okay. Yeah. You was love Trump. Sell it. Might change my mind about the Ark. You seriously not going to tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the wow. What? How? Why? Stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. Loading dock. What will you do when you get into the Ark? What's the first thing? Make sure the Ark is safe, stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. Well, what's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. Watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? I'd say so. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go down there a little bit later, I think. The launch dome. Well, time to save humanity. In the flash drive of humanity. Well, I guess that ain't it. Site map. Okay. That works okay. Hmm. A little bit of traveling involved, but okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty smart. You actually don't reuse the old animation when you're trying to climb a ladder. So, this is kind of more or less limping down the ladder. That ain't the arc. Uh, I will say it's quite a bit to catch up on. Because, well, people on this facility, this facility of facilities, they decided to save their brains onto the Ark. As you might guess, as like, almost like a reference to Noah's Ark, meaning it's the last way to save humanity and start over again. It's a healing butt. Yeah, these doors don't work. So what am I to do? Oh, let's try this door. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them. To launch it. Out there, it's hope. 
Down here? It's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the ark. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine. Oh, God. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you... Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. Well, find out how Kathy died. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell. A bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the arc. Right. It looks a little back. bit phallic. How did she die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. <laughs> I'm just trying to stop you from launching. That's one hell of a way to even say it's an accident. Oh great, I have to find a little energy panel. How could they kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. I need some kind of power module. Something to power this thing. Do you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one. Someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. <laughs> okay, time to knock out the power. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. Mm-hmm. That's what you say. But how can I believe you? I still wonder how the hell there are frickin' flies down here. And no payload. Right. Yeah, why does my eye have to itch? Wait a second. Idea. There is another thing I can use for power. I can do it. Oops, wrong way. Well, the WoW has that one. Why does my eye have to itch so much? Hey, it's the Ark. Here it is. We got the Ark back. Good job, Simon. Take it to the assembly space and load the bullet. Ooh, that's gotta hurt.
Hold on, let me get the... Hold on. Dang it, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, now to get the freaking little battery. It's the itty bitty battery that powers the. Oh, dang it, went the wrong way again! The itty bitty battery that powers a big, big door. And a big, big thing that's gonna be hopefully a big, big thing in space. A big, big thing. Excuse me, wow, when you're healing, butt. The question is, how did the other colleagues die if they left Kathy here? Payload detected. Payload bay closing. Is that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Come back up and we'll head out to the gun. So, we're gonna save humanity by launching a bullet into space. How fitting. We fight wars with guns and bullets, and a bullet will be what will save humanity, apparently. Let's keep this little area powered. You need to have a bit more confidence there, Ule. Maybe sometimes some things will work. Now I'm a wee bit lost, so hopefully I'm not lost for too long. to get the shell into the gun and then kaboom aren't you forgetting something how are you gonna get us on board the ark don't we need to make another scan oh don't you worry you don't operate something like the omega space gun with your bare hands you mean it's a pilot seat like back at omicron yes and we can use it to transfer you to the ark while operating the gun two birds and all that now take the omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and i'll guide you through the final steps Something's gonna stop me. It's just kind of how it works. This can't be this easy. So, a little bit of travel. What's gonna break through? Oh, joy. Oh. I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. 
So what's going to screw this up? That's the question. Comfortable? As good as it's going to get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, that's how it works. There we go. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Right. Here we go. No turning back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mention it. It's an amazing thing you did. I want you to know I appreciate it. Time, 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. Thought you guys would have better bandwidth in the future. I'm not going to make it, aren't I? I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, this is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this, fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine, you lied! And I believed in you, I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fucking fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine? Well, that's a somber little ending. I wonder if there are any other endings. I'm just going to leave these credits rolling because you always want to give credit to the creators. It's always good to see who made things.
Oh ho! So there are multiple endings. Okay, here's the voice cast. So everyone you've heard, here are their voice actors. And you got additional voices. And now we have sound. And music. Music and sound effects. They are integral to a game. To a game. Well, that would be a fun little mystery and interesting conversation. Hey, I'm you, but I'm a copy of you. Like, you're a copy of yourself, too. Font, sensation, <laughs> and the art assets, and the engine uses, and the production babies, because sometimes <coughs> families have a kid. It just kind of happens. Can't predict that when, and <coughs> can't predict when it'll happen, but it happens. <clears throat> All this talking's kind of dried out my throat. Anything after the credits? Oh. Whoa. Is this... Did it work? Well, let's see if the wow got to anything. Let's go through the Cave of Wonders. Nice little forest, beautiful trees, bright shiny sky, with well, a little bit of sky to be seen because oh my god that frickin' sun. Yeah, don't stare in the sun, it's bad for your eyes. Don't worry. Calibration survey VO3, welcome, if you are reading this you have successfully entered the arc. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue the survey. How would you describe your physical condition? I feel alien. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel altered. I feel disconnected? Hmm. Yeah. I feel a little bit disconnected. How would you describe your senses? I feel blocked, as if my senses are numb. 
How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? Everything feels constructed. Hmm. It's pleasant, I will say that. Are you troubled by the fact you're no longer strictly human? Yeah, more my previous existence. How do you perceive your new existence? How do you perceive your new existence? Yeah. I'm saying this as myself. You think this new existence will be a wife, life worth living? Maybe we can find a sense of new meaning in this world. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? No, not yet. The answers have been saved. Thank you for participating. The ARC team. Ah, uh, who am I gonna run into? Ooh, do I see a utopia? Because apparently that can exist. In some way. Catherine? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's alright now. Hey, we made it! We survived! Oh! Well, we both survived and didn't survive. It's a really interesting meaning of what it means to be alive. This game is very existential and I kinda like that. This game has definitely taken a unique psychological turn on horror. It's a smart game. It's a fun game. So, I would give it a tam out of tam. And it's a tem. T E M out of Tem. Since a Tem out of Tem means it's yeah, yeah, is good. Let's just be this tiny little twinkle in the distance. The creatures, the environment, are all pretty unique. So it's nice to see another original game from Frictional Games. And it's pretty good. It's maybe not quite as eerie as Amnesia, but definitely more psychological. The end. I got the end. It's the Omega. The face is complete. Oh! So after you beat the game, you can't continue and do something else. You get to do something else. Catherine's face is disconnecting. Starting a new game will overwrite your last save. Continue? Eh, not at the moment. Okay, so... Well, we can go back, I guess. In case we wanted to try anything different, but I only have so many times I can go back. Because I came back to life in so many ways. 
So, with all the butt fisting that we've had, I think my arms are a little bit tired and I need a break. So, this will be the end of the stream for tonight and this week. Unless I decide to do another stream over the weekend, maybe playing some other game, or maybe just doing something with Overwatch. I don't know. But, I want to thank you all for watching. This ends the stream here. So, any time of day, no matter what time of day it is, I will say to you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I shall see you guys next time. Much love. Thanks for watching, buddies.